welcome back to another vlog. Uh, I just needed to come over here and talk to you guys because I just realized I have not came in and checked in with you guys. I just showed you guys what I'm reading and I haven't said anything. So, hey, hello. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> um, My sister, the serial killer. Started her today while I was at work on lunch break and... I am what 19 pages in the chapters are not numbered they are named um one two three four five six chapters in they are really short they this chapter here is two pages <laughs> yeah they're really short this was one of my Goodwill pickups and I bought this for $3.99 at the Goodwill bookstore earlier this year and I'm finally getting to it because it was on my fall TBR specifically for October because it's given, I mean, a serial killer is given spooky vibes, right? So I wanted to add it in before the month was out and so far, it's kind of fast. So, I'm just going to tell you guys what I've read so far of the book. All I know is there is a dead body. <laughs> that's, that's really all I know. All I know is there is a dead body and someone is helping someone clean it up and dispose of the dead body. That. That's all we are. That's where we at. That's all I got for you guys right now. So yeah, I'm going to read this. I just got home from work and I'm getting ready to decompress, cook dinner, shower, get cozy and get some reading in. I will hope to get done with this book in like one or two days. This book is only 223 pages, but Every time I say I want to get through a book in a certain length of time, I never, ever get through the book within a certain length of time. Never. So I really need to stop saying that. However, I do want to finish this before the week is out um, because I don't want to bring this into the weekend. Today is Tuesday when I'm starting this vlog, and I think this vlog is going to go through uh, Saturday. And yeah, so I want to be done with this by end of business day friday i do not want to take this book into the weekend because i want to start another one and uh yeah so yeah that's where we at i just want to come and say hello because i gave y'all some b-roll i didn't even talk but it was so pretty outside today and i decided to take my lunch break outside I finished The Perfect Piece um, earlier today, and so I want to start this book immediately after because I'm trying to toss these books back like vodka shots. Um, my fall TBR, because it's pretty thick, and I have a feeling I'm going to change up my entire TBR for next month in December because we only got two months left basically so yeah just want to come introduce the vlog say hey what's up I don't know what this vlog is going to entail besides reading this book but stick around and find out and I'll see you guys in the next clip Hey y'all, so I wanted to come and talk to you guys about this book because it's a very short book and I feel like what's going to happen is I'm going to finish it and come back and be like, dang, I forgot to give you guys an update. So we have two sisters. Um, We're going to call the oldest K and then we're going to call the youngest A. Okay, that's what we're going to call them, A and K. So K is the oldest. She's a doctor she has her head on her shoulder your typical older sister the mama bear you know always taking care of her little sister 
this, that, and the third. She does everything right in life. Uh, she's a doctor, right? Very good career path. Does everything right. And then you have the younger sister, self-centered, social media, all over social media. I always want to post on her Snapchat and her Instagram. And she does whatever she wants because she gets away with a lot because she's the youngest. Well, the the younger sister, A, has a track record of killing her boyfriends. And she has killed her third boyfriend. And just like a typical younger sister, she reaches out to her older sister asking for help to dump his body. She stabbed her boyfriend with a knife and that's on the synopsis so she stabbed her boyfriend with the knife and reached out to her older sister like hey you're a doctor you know how to clean up this mess i need your help so her sister goes to help of course because that's her sister and so now we have somebody that's dead the boyfriend is dead nobody knows how he died everybody trying to figure out how he died and the older sister, K is trying to cover up what the younger sister, A, did, right? And while she's trying to help her cover this up, A, self-centered self, want to be on social media, posting posts, like her nigga didn't just come up missing. And her sister, like, girl, no, you cannot do that. You're supposed to be mourning the death of your boyfriend because nobody know you killed him. So you can't do that. And since I'm helping you, you can't post on social media at all. Okay? All right. So, Kay is a doctor and she has a crush on her coworker that is also a doctor in a hospital. And after all of this ordeal, the younger sister decides she wants to go have lunch with her big sister. So, she pops up at her job at the hospital. And everybody's like, oh, my God, I didn't know you had a sister. And she was like, yeah, because I try to keep my work life separate from, you know, my private life. And they was like, oh, my God, we didn't know. We didn't know. So the doctor that she works with seeing her sister and he's like, hey, you think you could get my number to your sister? Because I'm feeling her. And it's like a slap in her face because she likes him. And she's like, okay, my sister already got the better looks. She already gets what she wants. She's already the youngest. And, and now she finna take my crush? Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Y'all, this book has been so good. Um, It's a short read. And I picked up the audio book since I got home from work because I've been kind of busy. And I won't be able to um read physically this evening because i'm i'm actually getting ready to go to sleep i'm tired that's why i'm laying here like this and i do apologize but it's very good um i can relate to um the older sister because i am my older sister so i kind of get how it feels to do everything the right way and you know work in your career path and the light is still not shining on you. It is shining on your younger sister who's kind of like a go-with-the-flow type of girl who really just live life with no limits. And she doesn't care about nobody but herself, kind of self-centered. So I could really, really, really relate to the older sister. I am just trying to see where this story is going to go because I guess the main plot of the story is the death of the youngest sister boyfriend so i can't wait to see like if the community finds out and how and then i can't wait to see how this relationship turns out with the youngest sister and the doctor because i i'm picking up that the younger sister just be using dudes like she just be using them and she don't really take anything serious with them and she gets what she wants from them and then drop them like a hot potato. And what sucks is the older sister really is feeling dude. So if her sister do him wrong, then it will leave no room for the older sister to actually connect with him the way she wanted to before her sister showed her face in the hospital. So yeah, um, I think I'm about 50 per 53% in. 
and I, like I said, I was listening to the audiobook while I was doing things. Since I got home, I just been listening to the audiobook because I, I just had stuff to do. So I'm probably gonna listen to the audiobook while I work tomorrow, and then read some on my lunch break. So I think the next time you guys see me, I should be done with the book, and then I'll give you guys my overall thoughts about this book. <laughs> guys so really quick while i'm in a drive through waiting on my coffee i finally finished my sister the serial killer and it was very very good um it was a quick read thank you have a good one <laughs> i went to scooters and got a pumpkin caramel issues this is before we finna see, we, we finna see how it tastes. But really quick before I drive off, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did finish the book. It was very, very good. Um, character development was there. Like we had some character development. Um, I'm interested in seeing what else this author writes. Her writing style is a little bit different. The chapters were very, very short. I mean, some of the chapters were only like one page long. Um, I'm interested in seeing what else this um, author writes. I never heard of this author besides this book. So I'm going to go do some research to see what else she has written to see if anything sounds interesting to me. But it was very good. I recommend this title if it's on your radar. I definitely recommend that you pick it up. It's a quick read. Like I started it Tuesday and today is Thursday morning and I finished it when I was at the gym this morning. So very good um character development was there one thing i wanted to correct myself on is um the sister that i kept on calling Kay. her name is cordy i think uh she's not a doctor she's a nurse so she is a nurse and medical field so that's what kind of threw me off but um lots of character development what i can say about the two sisters was you get that whole entire you're jealous of your sister scenario in here like you're just being jealous and i really cannot stand when people want to throw jealousy out there especially when one of the sisters is like foolish and she acts foolishly she don't care about her actions she's self-centered um what what makes you think i'm jealous of her and then, of course, when you throw a man in the mix, it's always you're jealous of your sister because he chose her and didn't chose you. What makes you think I'm jealous of her? Like, what makes you think that? She's my sister. Why would I be jealous of her? Like, it's crazy to me, especially with her being a nurse and stuff. Like, why would I be jealous of her? she's really not even doing anything with her life the story kind of wraps up okay um we do find out a lot it's a lot of dark humor in this novel so if you're really into dark humor which i am a lot of things that i should not laugh at i do um so a lot of dark humor is in this novel it was really good i recommend if you are just looking for something short quick short chapters um, getting straight to the point and just a new author in general I, I recommend that you pick this novel up as you guys can see I'm getting ready to start the silent patient I'm excited because y'all know it's tons of mixed reviews for the silent patient and I just want to see what the fuss is about that's really the reason why I even bought this book I bought it from the Goodwill I think I spent like three dollars on it and I really want to see what the fuss is about because it was on my TBR at the top of the year. But then when I seen all of the mixed reviews for it, especially from people that I trust, I was like, mm, I don't know. But then I started seeing more people read it 
and i'm like well more people are reading it and it's more people saying they like than it than the people that's saying they don't like it so i'm really going in here just to see what the fuss is about to see why the people that did like it liked it and why the people that didn't like it didn't like it if you read this novel let me know your take on it without spoilers did you like it or did you not like it and yeah so i just got to work and i wanted to come back and talk about this book really quick before i get my day started y'all i am tired it's friday on my end and this week has kicked my behind and it has been a normal week for me like let me stop lying so yesterday and today i started back my 4 a.m workouts um originally i'm a 4 a.m gym girly but of course i got pregnant had my son and had to recover from all of that because it literally takes two to two and a half years to fully recover from pregnancy and having a child do your research it's true so anyway i'm tired i got my coffee because if i didn't have my coffee this morning i was gonna tip over I literally feel like I can fall asleep if idle. If I don't have anything to do, I'm, I'm going to fall asleep. So, let's talk about this book really fast. Y'all, the book started off pretty good. It, it started off pretty good. I think, um, I think the prologue was perfect okay the prologue has set the foundation for the story it really did like alicia are y'all calling her alicia or alicia because you know you can read it both ways i'm assuming she's not black so she might be an alicia and not alicia but i'm gonna call her alicia so um Alicia, she did the one up, right? That's she did. She one up her husband. Okay, that's what she did. So they said the prologue has laid the foundation for this book. Um, <laughs> I am on chapter ten. I fell asleep at seven thirty last night, y'all. I'm just tired. I fell asleep with this book in my hand. Reading like book, everything in my hand. I just passed out on the couch while reading. But luckily, I successfully stopped at a new chapter. So I stopped on chapter 10. And y'all, this reminds me of work. So if you don't know, I work in a medical field, specifically mental health, behavioral health. And <laughs> this reminds me of work, you know. If you read this book, you guys know the male main character, Theo. He um, got a new job working at a mental health facility. And it reminds me of work. And I've been looking at the book because I walk around campus with my books in my hand, especially when I'm getting ready to go like on break and stuff like that. So I always have my books in my hand because my coworkers... My manager and everybody, they know that I love to read. They love to see what book I'm currently reading. So I'm walking around with this book in my hand and I'm like, y'all, maybe I should put this book up. <laughs> because it reminds me too much of work. So, so far, so good. Um, the foundation is still being laid. I guess you can say world building um, in a sense. It's still being laid. Uh, Theo got his position in the mental health facility to see if he can kind of see what's going on with alicia and why is she mute why is she not talking you know like and that's what he's trying to do so what's so funny about this book is me and my manager was just talking because obviously we're at work we were just talking about work and we were talking about how some of the therapists um some therapists need therapists as well. 
some therapists need therapists as well. And it's funny because Theo, he is a psychotherapist and he needs a therapist as well. So while you are going to help mentally ill patients, you are also a mentally ill patient. So I can't wait to see where this book is going to take me. I already know what the mixed reviews are. I know a lot of you guys hated it, but I also know a lot of you guys loved it. I do know that it started getting slow in the mid middle of the book. I had a friend told me to skip to the last five chapters. That made me laugh because that's the same thing I tell people about the housemaid is watching. So that made me mad. But I'm going to see this book through um, because I'm intrigued. I just, I am really reading it, like I told you guys, because I want to see what the fuss is about, right? So, so far, so good. Um, the premise is pretty good. Uh, what I can say is the writing is pretty small. So I'm waiting on Libby to release the audiobook for me. It's like 10 people waiting, 12 copies out there, or something like that. One person per copy or something like that. So I'm waiting on Libby to release the audiobook for me because this book is pretty, it's pretty thick. And I'm trying to get it done before the end of the month. It's still October. Today is October the 25th. This book is like 323 pages. So I'm going to get Libby to assist me with my reading experience only because a lot of you guys have been saying that mid book, it gets slow. And if it's going to get slow, I'm not wasting my eyesight, my brain power, my concentration on reading the words of a slow book. And I love a slow burn, but I don't think I like it in a thriller. So that's where I am. I'm going to check back in with you guys when I get a little further. When I start getting to the like meat and the potatoes of the novel. And yeah, so I'll be back when I got another update. this book pissing me off starting off on chapter one again <sighs> part two chapter one so it's all the parts like this like why would why would you do that why so i am about 98 percent into the silent patient and I can kind of see both sides of the mixed reviews at this point. Um, it's given more mystery to me, even though it's in a psychiatric hospital. It's given more of a mystery to me with all of the back and forth and just just trying to find out all of the additional information to kind of put the pieces together is given mystery is not given thriller and personally mysteries are a drag for me mysteries are a drag for me and i think what pisses me off about mysteries is that they're trying to put all these pieces together but there's nothing really exciting, suspenseful, or anything happening. And that's what's going on in A Silent Patient. Like, I think the only thing that's really keeping me is the fact that it is in a psychiatric hospital. And I can relate because I work at a psychiatric hospital. So I can kind of relate and I can kind of... Um, I could just relate to what's going on as far as the hospital side is concerned. Um, now, when it comes to Theo and Kathy's relationship, I'm like, wow. You know, and then I got kind of confused. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of like, you know, a different 
part of the story, um, Theo's story. And then you kind of use his story to kind of see how it even relates or deal with the main point of the story, the main plot. So yeah, um, I can, I can kind of see why the reviews are so mixed because it, it is drawn out, like it's drawn out, but it does have my attention. So I can see where the mixed reviews are coming from. Um, I don't see myself rating this higher than a four star. I don't know what my rating is. I guess I'm waiting for this last 7% because I think I'm like, I think I'm probably like at 90%. So maybe this last 10% because everybody is saying that the ending has the wow factor. And I'm just curious to know how it ends because the people who disliked it, they disliked the entire book, but they was like the end makes up for it. And then the people who actually liked it, they didn't mind the entire book and they thought the ending was good or they kind of figured out what the ending was going to be. I can't really tell. I have some theories, um, but I don't really think any of my theories are correct. If you read it, I think Christian did it. But then I'm thinking Theo did it because at the beginning of the story, when I was kind of telling you guys about the conversation I was having with my manager when we were saying that, you know, these therapists, they be needing therapy too because they don't be all right. And then when I started the book, Theo was saying he was seeing a therapist himself. So I'm, I'm like, well, did Theo do it? Because what did Theo do it? That's what I'm thinking in my head. Did Theo do it? Did Christian do it? And then we were introduced to Bobby. And Bobby is the Lulu. She's very the Lulu. So then I'm thinking like, did she do it? Because I got three people in mind. The first one was Bobby. When we got introduced to Bobby, I'm like, baby, you need to be in this psychiatric hospital your darn self. Maybe she has something to do with it. But then when... um we started getting more of Theo and Kathy's story. I'm like, maybe Theo did it. But then we start getting some more information about Christian. Christian is another employee at the psychiatric hospital. So I'm like, maybe he did it. So those are my three theories. I can't really go into detail on why I think those people did it, but if you read the book, then you kind of know why I'm pinpointing those three. Um, but I could be wrong. Like I said, I got like 10% left. I plan to finish it today. So as soon as I finish it, I'm going to come back with my final thoughts. But as of right now, I can definitely see why the reviews are so mixed. I don't see myself rating this more than a four star but we'll see um i don't really see that simply because it's given a mystery feel to me and mysteries are at the bottom of my genre list like i don't really care about a mystery and because mysteries are so drawn out and i'll be looking for more suspense instead of putting puzzle pieces together so yeah when i finish this book i'm gonna come back with my final thoughts and let y'all know what side i am siding with the bad reviews saying it was bad or the good reviews saying it was good so really quick while i'm thinking about it i just finished the silent patient and it was um just it it just was that's all i gotta say about it like it just it was it just was it was nothing to rave about and it wasn't terrible um yeah it just was i don't think i'm going to be reading anything else by the author i think i'm just gonna chill on mr alex going forward though because uh his other novel that's out I forget the name of it. Um, it's giving the same vibes. And I'm straight. I'm not going to buy that. But I'm happy I did knock another book off my TBR. Because this book has been on my TBR since the top of the year. 
okay so another thing before i end this vlog and wrap this vlog up freedom mcfadden don't piss me off do not piss me off there should be no reason why you are releasing a novella related to the housemaid no reason why none zero no reason why anything pertaining to the housemaid needs to be released no reason why are you releasing a novella the housemaid gets married what absolutely not don't piss me off see the thing <laughs> Y'all know I've been mad at Frida since the housemaid is watching. And due to the fact that I have not picked up my other two Frida Mae Fadden books. And I have not bought any others. And I was really thinking about picking up um, Never Lie before the year end. But she pissed me off releasing this <laughs> novella dealing with housemaid. Are you guys going to read it? I'm pretty sure you guys going to read it. But for personally, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just going to wait on you guys' reviews. I'm not going to read it because, um, the housemaid is watching piss me off. I think we invested too much time into reading that novel for it to be what it was. And I vividly remember saying that if anything else come out after that one, I'm not reading it. So I, I'm just not doing that. So, yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I really, really appreciate you guys. Two thrillers, reading thrillers for a week. I've been wanting to do a weekly read with me vlog type of situation. Um, but I have not had like a theme. I'm, I don't like to do, I didn't want to do like a mood reading vlog and yeah i just didn't have a theme but this time i had a theme so i'm excited about that you guys let me know if these two books are on your radar and if they're not are you gonna add them to your radar would you read them if you read them let me know how you feel about them and until next time ta-ta